Alright guys, so let's briefly talk about software updates for your Samsung device. I get this a lot and there's a lot of confusion about, you know, uh, the software updates, especially if you're not like tech savvy or anything like that. Um, and also, if you're coming from iPhone to Android, you know, the update sort of implementation for Android, since it's so fragmented, it's not as like, so for instance, if iOS 16 comes out, it literally gets pushed to every iPhone in a very timely manner. I believe almost instant, right? Even if it's on a locked carrier. But with Android, so Android, let's say, when Android 13 comes out, um, it's not gonna be all at the same time. Um, you could be, Android 13 can come out and you can get it like six months from now, especially if you're a locked carrier. This is why I always tell you guys to buy unlocked phones. Why do we want to buy unlocked phones? We want to buy unlocked phones because when updates get pushed out, they go to the carrier if it's a locked phone first and then the carrier pushes it to the phone. When it's an unlocked phone, like, you know, this Galaxy Note, right? It gets updates as soon as, as soon as it's uh, out, right? Another question that I always get is why, um, like say if you have an unlocked phone or a locked phone, why do some people get Android, like let's say the Android 12 update. So some people, even though this is unlocked, let's pretend this is AT&T. You might have AT&T, right? And you don't get the update. One thing I would recommend for you guys is to put your SIM in your phone. Uh, some phones have to have the SIM in because I know some of you guys use some phones as secondary phones and you're waiting for the update or it, there may not be any SIM in there. Put the SIM in there and then try. Also, make sure you look up the model number in the settings uh, to make sure it was pushed out. But typically, um, nine times out of 10, it's usually the SIM. And also for people overseas, so that's also something interesting, which I really don't know, but like if you have an unlocked Galaxy Note 10 Plus, right, in an Android 12, you know, it started to roll out and you're overseas, it might take some time um, to get pushed out. Um, so that's just from my experience. I noticed people who are like maybe in European market, India, um, I noticed that the updates uh, take a little bit longer and they're, everything's just off. Uh, with like Android updates in general. So that's like kind of one of the, the downsides. Um, also, let's go ahead and talk about lifespan as well too. So if you have a, well, let's just start with an S10, right? Let's start with the S10 series. So if you have a S10, S10 Plus, any device with a 10, right? That came out around this lifespan cycle. Your last update was Android 12 One UI 4.1, unless Samsung comes out with like a One UI 4.2, um, and it's still based in Android 12. Um, but that was the last major OS update for this phone. Your phone now is currently in the security patch stages. So basically, Samsung will make sure that the device is secure from threats and stuff like that. Uh, but when Android 13 comes out, you will not be getting any. You will not be getting that update. So. There are workarounds for, you know, older phones and stuff like that. So let's say, for instance, the Galaxy Note 9 has been stopped getting updates. But there are uh, ROM communities that you can port, you know, Android 12 to it if you want to go ahead and root your phone. I don't root phones anymore. I've bricked a lot of phones. When you root phones, um, it can go very smooth depending on the ROM. But uh, sometimes I used to notice, like, battery issues when I'm rooting phones and stuff like that glitches and stuff like that all have to be like patched and worked through that's typically why I don't you know mess with it anymore uh, but you can go that route if you're brave so um, so if you have a s10 series device just know that you're in a security patch stages you won't be getting any major OS updates so it gets three years of major OS updates typically for your average Android device so just keep that in mind so let's just go ahead and how, how you want to know and this is typically for Android devices in general, you can just look it up for your uh, specific device. So let's just go to one site I like to use is GSM Arena. And we're just going to go to GSM Arena and it'll tell us basically when the, the phone came out. If you don't know, like I said, if you're not tech savvy, right? So if you go down platform, it launched with Android 9, 10, 11, 12, right? That's three years. We're on 12. This should get around, I believe, two to three years of security patches. I believe, um, I believe it's three actually, though. So take that into consideration. The Note 20. So if you have like a Note 20 device or an S20, 
uh, series phone s20 s20 plus s20 fe these phones will get android 13 so keep that in mind these phones will get android 13 uh and one ui 5 so keep that in mind but that would make it that would make the note 20 ultra what that would be the last major os update for this phone i'm going to do an updated video on this phone as well too but we type in note 20 ultra and then it'll go into its security patch stages as well. So yes, one of the downsides with Android, unlike iOS, iOS iPhones typically have like an eight year lifespan cycle, I believe, because I believe the iPhone 8 is still getting Android. Um, no, not Android. The iPhone 8 is still getting iOS 16. Um, so, and that's a pretty older phone. So that's kind of the downside with, uh, you know, Android. So you can see this launch with Android 10, so 11, 12, 13, we would get 13 One UI 5, and then this would go into its security patch data. So if you have any Samsung device with the S20 whatever or a Note 20 whatever in it, so you got the standard Note 20 Ultra, it doesn't matter, it's on a three year cycle in uh, most likely three years of security patch. So that does give your phone a lifespan of six years in total if you wanna be technical. Now, I do have phones that aren't getting security patches at all. Um, like I believe like my s9 plus has stopped getting security patches Samsung announced that it's perfectly fine as long as you don't like start Downloading stuff. I've never had gotten like viruses on my phones now if you have a newer device like a S22 ultra and I'll go over the list you are Very lucky because Samsung actually rolled out they added so you remember how we said the older phones were only getting three now you're getting four years of major OS updates so these are the eligible devices so you can see four years of major OS updates and I believe now it's five years of uh, security patches uh, which is absolutely crazy so you get so your phone will just last so much longer now um, so I really like that and what's funny is now Samsung the S22 Ultra and you can see the S22 series the S21 FE the Z Flip 3 Z Fold Three. These devices are now going to be the longest supported Android devices, I believe, out of any Android device. So even the Pixel phones will not get four years of major OS updates and five years of security patches. So if you care about, you know, software updates, Samsung right now is the way to go unless somebody tops Samsung and does uh, also the four years of major OS updates or even five years. Um, so until somebody tops Samsung with software updates, man you get a really long lifespan cycle so if you own an s22 series phone an s21 series phone um and a z flip 3 and z fold 3 you get that extra year of update and security patches and a tap um s8 plus and a tap s8 ultra as well too that is pretty sweet to me so um and as far as the mid-range the mid-range phones still get the same standard treatment so let's say a galaxy a52 or a53 those phones will still get the same treatment as far as uh, three years of major OS updates. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so Android updates are a little bit awkward, but you know that's the price you pay for basically having all these different variety of phones and stuff like that. Um, all these different sizes and different companies and they do all sorts of different things. That's sort of the price you pay with Android until they find a way to sort of make the update experience better it's definitely messy and i definitely feel you guys uh, who are aggravated that they didn't get the update when it came out or whatever so be sure to let me know what you guys think about the video and i'll catch you guys in the next one